Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode. As you can see, we're... Well... You've seen the last episode, I assume. I don't know why you'd be watching this one if you didn't. But we've kicked Rome's ass... Hard. And soon enough we're gonna be a major... Uh, well, a uh, great power. So, we're gonna lose all of these guys as allies. But that's... Eh, irrelevant, really. Although at that point we should probably... Well, the aggressive expansion decay is good. Very good. Hmm. But... Bellicose... That's just... That's awesome. I like it. Hmm. After we become a great power, we'll do that. Because we're, we're just in a rough spot. Also... Our war exhaustion is gr is just horrible, as is our aggressive expansion. So, for now we build, we rebuild, I suppose. And to do that, we're gonna need to do this. Whoa! Farming settlements in all of, in this entire region. That's a bit much. No, no. Here's the farming settlement. 200. Wait, no. 152. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, fu for five years. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Do that here, and yes, in all of these regions. Well, that's a city. You can't have a farming settlement down there. Okay, so there is no. There are no building buildings in this entire region. What the fuck? How does that work? Also, let's see. Where can I send you? Uh, yep, here. I'm looking for stuff that's get that's uh, producing too much. Also here, fish. Send it to some place that doesn't have fish. Here you have fish. Here you have fish. Fish here. Uh, hmm. I don't see no fish. Go for it. Yeah, we need to. Change a lot of stuff. More stability? I'll take it. We're in a bad spot with the stability because of the aggressive... Well, we're going to be in a bad spot. We're losing... We're bleeding stability like it's nobody's business. Ooh. Good. So, what library is in here? Well, we need money for that. Also, let me look at the economy. Taxes, that's fair enough. Fleet maintenance. You know, I've been thinking about that. The fleet is amazing, and it's brutal as all hell, but it's not very balanced. Like, we have access to Octres and Mega Polyremes, which is wild. These things will kick all the ass. But... The Hextres and the Tetres, they're not very useful with this combination. We have a lot of... Like, and neither is the... Liburnian. It's, it'd be better if we had something else. Well, actually, this is... No, 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 that doesn't work either. Hextre, Octre, Megapodremes, Triremes. Hmm. Yeah, as far as I can tell, triremes, octres, and polyremes, these should be all in one fleet. And we, we keep uh, the hexres, tetres, and liburnians into another one. Right? And that would be... No, not this one either. Here. Okay, so uh, we'll have a uh, propping attack with... 
one of the, with one fleet and the frontal assault with another and we have two fleets because having one big fleet is awesome and we'll never lose because look at the other fleets like we're almost twice the size of the second place in terms of navy but it's kind of pointless if our if our uh, fleet what um okay, okay. Yeah, it's kind of pointless if uh, if uh, we have if like we can only have the fleet in one place at a time, so that's not very effective. We'll never lose with the fleet, granted, but we also will only be able to fight one battle at a time. And because our fleet is so big, we don't have to worry about, like, the, n the size of our armies and what we need to transport them. But we also can only transport one at a time, like, from one place at a time. And we need to make the rounds. Hmm. This is... Fair enough, I suppose. The Shady Connections? No. Actually, monthly tyranny. Hmm. Okay, I'm just looking at this and uh, not much. Actually, we could go down this route. Yeah, we're probably gonna need to go down this route. Mm hmm. Hmm. Transfer the citizenship. Okay. But I need more income. Yeah. I think we're gonna go down this uh, this route. Look at look at the research. Look at this beautiful research. We're also we should have uh, something else to give us research efficiency. Like to increase the limit. Because it's good, but it can be better. And if it's better we'll actually if I believe uh yeah. Maintenance cost. See, another reason why you shouldn't have legions. Like, look at this. Look at this. Morale of armies plus 0.82. Legion, legion maintenance cost plus 27.50%. Bruh. That's not even a flat, like, value. That's just percentage. That's, that's a percentage of the total. That... Eh? Eh? That's not... That's, that doesn't help. And this is a flat value, like, this doesn't increase. This doesn't stack. This does. Stacks hard. Like, why? And for all of these, it's just good stuff. But for Marshall, it's also... Navy maintenance cost and Legion maintenance cost. Yeah, the morale increase is good, sure, I'll give you that much. But I don't want to do that. I just don't. I don't want to do that. Fuck that. Anyway. Hmm? Okay, fair enough. Do whatever. I don't much care. Actually, I'm betting you guys. Why did you do that? Why did you do that, you dumbasses? You left your troops here. And they'll just walk somewhere. Well, I guess you can walk that way, so it's fine. The old place. That's their man, it's fine. What? Oh. Ooh. That's fine. Yeah. I want to see how, ma how many troops we're going to have when the Romans are integrated. Rome, how you doing? Ooh, the hip hybrid. Say what? Well, show this culture now. Why do we... 
Wait, what? How, how do we have Hebrews down that area? Well, I suppose they're there as well, so it's whatever. But yeah. Things look fine. Let me look at pop in terms of numbers. Yep. The three biggest population like populations are all working together at this point. Isn't that great? I'm sorry. Character okay. This is for popularity. That's a lot of money. And I don't have. Uh, that's more money that I don't have. That's just bad stuff all around. Well, the extra tyranny is not bad because it's gonna help a bit with the aggressive expansion. So that's fair. That's good enough. I love the way the. Hmm? Ooh, good. I like. I love the way the the culture just switched, just expanded in this entire area. Like these guys, Thessalians. Like Thessaly is still holding on, but ooh, great money. But for the most part, only the Macedonians are still a big culture. Throw one. Throw one. Would you look at that? Just literally throw one. Isn't that nice? National tax? We want more money. Don't we? And holy hell, we recover our... Uh... Why do we recover our, troop, our uh, manpower so fast? Just because of the, the pops, huh? That's fine by me. God fucking damn it. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? That's Thrace, right? And that's... That's 500. They won't even fucking... Like, they'll take it and... Fuck off. Done. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Merchants here. Library buildings. I forgot about them. And that's the last spot in the city. That's unpleasant. What else? What else? Oh yeah, and uh, a bunch of farming settlements in this region. Yikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, for fuck's sake. You mean to tell me I can't build farming settlements? Oh. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. And more money on the way. Livestock here, vegetables here. That's a city and it produces leather, so... Okay, we need three more. That's fair enough, so it accounts for the mission accounts for that. That's good to see. Then Granary of Macedonia. Ooh. Good. Nice. Granary of Macedonia, I'm guessing, right? That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Two granary buildings. Well, I don't have any. But the empty spots are there, so that should be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but reduced intervention restrictions. What does that mean? Yeah. That's good. Ten years of that. That's awesome. Yeah. Works for me. Because uh, the manpower is good, but at the same time, I'm like, meh. I don't care. I've got a lot of manpower. And that, that's usually... I don't usually like to rely on the manpower. Because the manpower intervenes when you lose fights or you lose troops. And you need to recover them. You need to reinforce. I don't want to do that. I want to win the fights. But, like, I just... I want to crush them. Also, look at... Look at the fucking war score. That's just ridiculous. Uh, 
Tribute income, claim fabrication speed, subject opinion of us. I'll take it. Nice. And then this. Other stuff. Let's see. You. 152, that's a lot. You know, I've been thinking of fighting the Antigonids. But to do that would mean getting more aggressive expansion and, well, we could take all of this Antigone the Revolt. Fuck off. Okay, so the Antigone is what I take this, these bits and pieces, some stuff here, here if, if they ever stop fighting. Here's those guys. Who's here? Who the fuck are you? Egypt? And it's a rebellion. Honestly, I'd love for them to lose. How can you cross to my land? I don't have any access. Game. Game. Why are you doing this to me? Make up all dreams. These things are beautiful. I love them. But, yeah, I did say different. So, one with these three, and keep probing attack. And one with frontal assault, and replace try aims. Okay. Well, we're probably gonna get rid of a bunch of Liburnians. Probably... Let me think. Do this. Keep 50, 50, 50. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Fuck. My bad. Why did I send them all back? I don't know. But let's do this. And done. Okay. So keep a fleet with 150 ships and keep them as this. And keep another fleet. The second navy. With this. And have them slowly replace the Ibornians with Triremes. That's fair enough. I like that. I like that idea. And the fleet of 150. This fleet is gonna. Well, actually, should we change that completely? Hmm. We could. Let's let's do it. So the first Nauticon is gonna keep all the heavy ships, while the second Nauticon gets the light ships. That's fine by me. Okay. So that's the second navy. Have them go here. And have that guy take command once he's back. Now let's see, build the navy. Uh, well, first, let's uh, deal with this, because I want the building. So I want ships. Okay, so here we build the navy. And let's say 50. 50 again? Like 50, 50, 50. 150, but these are heavy ships. That seems like a lot of megapodiums. That seems so fucking expensive. Hmm. Maybe... Hmm. Okay, so... Maybe we do, uh... Call it 20 megapodiums. 40 octres, 40 triremes. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Let's go for it. Fuck, wait. And that's done. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Actually, we can uh, get take all these ships and 90 ships. That's still a good navy, but I, I don't want to pay for all of that. 
That's still a good navy. Just 90 those guys. But I will not be paying for that. Navy. No way in hell. Okay. Also, economy. Fort maintenance. Fleet maintenance. Yeah, because we are not at war right now. And obviously the Olympiads. The Olympiad is online. Yes. Got me, guys. Okay. Hmm. Bruh. They just, they literally took that thing. Okay. Every time I see those messages, like, oh, this is so outrageous. So, like, bro, they just can't cancel the agreement we had, like the uh, access agreement. Like, that's irrelevant. That doesn't matter. Calm down. Okay, so that's vegetables. Horrible. Holy hell, we are, we're moving so fast. I love it. Do that. I don't know what this does, but... I'll take it. Does it do something for the laws? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Relaxed citizens... citizens uh, bleh, citizenship status. Hmm. Okay. You know, this is what I like to have. Like, divine... Divine statute. And actually... Ooh. Okay. No, nobody's forging ahead of anybody. Like, we are leading in terms of military. Oh. <sighs> Model of armies, manpower recovery, speed. That's good, that's good. I'm fine with them, like... With uh, modernized military, I like that idea, but bruh, my levy size multiplier, that's too good to pass up. I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence on that one. Ooh. Patronize the arts. And we do integrated culture and monthly civilization change. For five years, that's good. Ooh, let's see him. He's not horrible. You know what? He's not horrible. He should be fine. In terms of uh, this stuff. Wisp, pious, narrow-minded, humble, zealous, greedy. Actually, that's fine. She is good. But she's way older than him. He is decent, she is trash. Fucking hell. Also, let's get her married. Why did I take so long to do that? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. You are about that age. Tough cold. Mm. Obsessive, suspicious. Holy man. You know? That sounds like a decent, like he sounds like a decent guy. Sure. You. As yet, you a wife. Hopefully not ten times your age. Less narrow-minded, greedy, zealous, humble. She's not horrible. Yeah, sure. And you... Our tactician, lazy, and... God damn it, why do you have to be lazy? Skeptical. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to have... Uh, I'd like him to have... 
a good wife. Hopefully, just his age. Maybe as hope. A lot of people die. Extra stability because it, our stability drops like it's nobody's business. 10 here, it's for the aggressive expansion. 10 here because we need the civilization bonus. Why are you guys so trash at this? Actually, let's uh, see. We don't really need the civilization bonus, so yeah, do that. Okay. We go for them? I'd say no. I just. The war exhaustion, the aggressive expansion, it's just not worth it, to be honest. Oh, I hate doing... I hate using bad researchers. But look at that, look at the Legion maintenance cost. Whatever the modernized military is, like, I hope it's good. Eh. I don't... I don't see it. If it's here, I don't, I don't see it. I don't know, I don't know dude. Uh, that's good, but I could do other stuff with that. Two granary buildings. Oh yeah, we need a, a new granary in here. Right, no. Not there. Granary here. Another one. So, and from here, this place needs to import horses. Okay, let's go cancel the wood and not step horses, just straight up horses. Do that. Mm -hmm. Does that work? Here. Okay. We just need money at this point. And another one here, and that's handled. Also, let's send these sheep somewhere else. Uh, yeah, here. Okay. But I just realized only the capital gets a bonus for surplus, right? Surplus in the capital. Yeah. So we can send them somewhere else. We don't need surpluses everywhere. Huh, fair enough, I suppose. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Look at the score. You know, if this represented strength, we'd be unbeatable. Unfortunately, it represents growth, I guess. Like, it's we started off as little, like, itty bitty Sparta over there, and got to here. And that's impressive, and that's the why this the score is so hard, so high. Okay. It'd be nice to represent, you know, if it represented the uh, strength. The campaign would pretty much be done by this point. Oh, Romans, are you integrated? Yes, you are. Now let's see. Magna Grecia. 23,000. That's not horrible, I suppose. We're almost done with the integration process. Well, somebody finished a civil war. Good enough. Actually, let's see. Granary of Macedonia. That's doing. It's happening. Aqueduct, Granary... Wait, what? Ah, Thessalonica, it's a different city. Um, an Aqueduct and a Granary. Oh yes, but I'd have to... Well, it's not the capital of the region, so I suppose. That's fair. And Thessalonica is not even a city? Fuck that. Make it a city. The Pella is not a city. Why is Pella not a city? Though I suppose... No, never mind. Uh oh. Is it too late? I think it's too late. To cancel that. I think I made it a city. Unfortunate. But. Yeah. 
do that. Aqueduct. And what do we need? Granary? Granary. And this is some stuff here. Actually, make this a city. It's necessary. Yeah. Well, Pella needs to be a city anyway. Actually, if I remember correctly, like, Pella was the capital of the Macedonian kingdom, I suppose, before it became an empire. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is it for this one. It was fun, it was nice, it was casual, relaxed, nothing big happened. But, uh, yeah. Like, subscribe, share, check out my Twitter down below, do all that good stuff, and see ya.